What's going on, people? It's your man, the YB, back once again. Oh, my God, people. Oh, my God. I can't, genuinely, I can't believe this fight. This fight almost killed mine and Michelle's Saturday evening off. I ain't gonna lie to you. We, I was negging. No joke. At 12 o'clock at night when it finished, yeah, we had to put Canelo versus Munguia on to actually to kind of change our mindset. We couldn't sleep. I was bent out of shape. I was going mad at the referee. Both of these dudes should have had points taken off for grabbing. Chris Bell and Smith was doing this thing where he'd hold and then have his hand out the back, pretending like, and the goofy uh, commentators, oh, that's an old school trick. Get clinches cancelled. I don't want to see another dude clinch again. That's the truth. Not one. Yeah? No one wants to watch it. Go do wrestling, react poor. Go do wrestling, Bill and Smith. Fight. Yeah, if you're tired, tuck your elbows in and exchange. You ain't got to be doing a whole bunch of hugging. Way too much. In my opinion, each round, each fighter should be given one clinch. It's an emergency option. It's not part of... It's not a fourth punch. Yeah? Clinching these days for certain fighters has become a fourth punch. It's like a... Oh, let's, what, what should we do next? These dudes, there'd be one jab and then fall in and both men would accept it. There's a reason you never see... Um, you never see people clinching Triple G. You never see people clinching Usyk. You never see people clinching Lomachenko. So don't tell me Chris Bill and Smith. And it wasn't. At points, I'd say it was probably 70-30. 70% of the clinches were react poor, but 30%, 35-40% was Bill and Smith. And Bill and Smith was accepting them. That's what they call it. You have to accept the clinch. If one man doesn't want to clinch, look at Pitbull Cruz. Yeah? If you don't want to clinch, it's hard to be clinched. Now, if you're coming in like that, you have to pick your elbows up. You can't clinch a man who's got his elbows in. How are you going to clinch him? In fact, it exposes you. Well, look at Fury versus Usyk. There was a few times Fury went to go and hold, and he's like this. Or whatever he was. Chin in the air, hands out. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Ruined the fight. And it was crap anyway. This big useless Nick here. Let me tell you something about this cat here. This cat here was designed to pick some. He wasn't designed to fight. Big for nothing. Big sparring. This guy, Jim Warrior. Yeah? And I, I, I'm pissed off because I told him, yeah, before the fight, don't let me come on here and have to say you was hugging, dude. I didn't even... I haven't watched React Poor, but I had a feeling. I think it was a Coley. I think that's the reason I brought it up. A Coley versus Bill and Smith. A hug fest. This was a hug fest. Big old Nick too. Yeah? But he only good for picking some. Picking some. Pick some cotton, 100%. I told him to show it. This dude here, he picked some cotton. The end of the fight, end of, oh, they for YB, respect them, they're fighters. What, when was they fighting? Yeah? I give Chamberlain respect. I give the guy, he, he fought respect, um, I've got his name, Joe Parker's opponent. Chamberlain versus dude, there was a bit of clinch in there, but there was, end of the day, man, they was fighting at a ferocious pace. Proper digging shots. Salute to them. Yeah? From round one, Rat Paul looked goosed. Bill and Smith didn't look much better. Looked knackered. It looked like it was a 20 round fight and we started at round 10. From immediately from the start. Jab, fall in. What's the point being a big old bull like this year and not putting your hands together? I even felt a bit sorry for Angel Fernandez, if I'm honest. Angel Fernandez was saying, do you want this world championship or not? You're losing it. You're letting yourself down. It's Madonna looking ass. Two, two, these new age cats here, yeah? they're too busy trying to be all in the video with Madonna. Yeah? With a demon. Madonna, no doubt, zap this cat's energy. Yeah? It, come on, Richard. You clap them cheeks. Stop. Yeah, this cat here on fight night or Friday night was clapping Madonna's cheeks. Them old demon cheeks. And she just sucked out all the energy out of dude. That's the truth. I've never seen that Adani look so... What's the word? He looked zapped. He looked like he had the, the life force sucked out of him. And that was Madonna, for sure, for sure. Yeah? You was too busy piping Madonna on Friday night, and then you turn up to the fight all, all sorry looking, trying to hug dude. And don't, don't, Chris, let me tell you something, Chris. Don't you be jumping on the ropes like it was a big triumph. You was useless as well. You didn't do nothing. You was happy sitting there most of the time. Just because you were doing a little bit more than him. I said to Michelle, yeah? This cat here, Richard, he was effing useless, and you was just useless. Bill and Smith jump on the ropes. Yeah, yeah, you was crap as well. He didn't want to fight, yeah? And you should have made that his problem. This dude don't want to fight, yeah? I'm going to stay tight and just work him. Instead, you was happy to do a bit more than he was doing and then clinch. 
I'm tired of hearing about all these fighters who have all this power. I got only all this power. Their bodies are strong, their minds are weak, people. That's the bottom line. The bottom line. OIB, you don't know them. Angel Fernandez knows them. And he told them. It's time to work now, you're blowing it. Fight. You gotta let your hands go. How difficult is it? Yeah? Oh, IV, you haven't boxed, people. Richard probably made, what, a meal for that? In my opinion, if I was running things, if I was Turkey, Prince Salomon, Sheikh Salomon, I'd be saying, listen, man, I'm making my own belt on my own rules. There's no clinching. Well, there's one clinch per round each. After that, it'll be points. Every single one a point. Bottom line. And the other rule is, if you, man, don't fight, if you come to just do nothing, I ain't paying you. That's the rules. Well, I'm paying for a service. If I go to Tesco's or if I go to a car wash, yeah, and I pay to have my car washed, that's what I'm, that's what fixing to happen. If I pay to watch two bullers in there fighting, I expect to see them fight. If not, sit down, Richard, Lawrence, go to McDonald and get a job like everyone else. No one making you box. Oh, I mean, you have to respect the fight. I don't have to respect nothing. That's what I don't have to do. That's the truth. I ain't never going to respect a man paid a million pound to a box who's hugging dude. Never going to do it. I don't care how many times he's been in the ring. I don't care what he's done. Because when it mattered for your world title, you went out sad. Yeah? You went out sad. Just standing there. And Richard's defence looked tight. but well, that's all that looked tight. He had a pretty tight kind of... I'm thinking, let your hands go now then. Get your elbows in, get your chin down, let's work now. Pop, pop, bang, bang. Get something going. That used to be... Uh, 20, 30 years ago, you didn't have to tell people this. It was given. I'd have a go. Even half of, the, even half of Mike Tyson's victims, yeah? Like Mitch Green, they come and, yeah, Mitch Green was punched up, yeah, but he came to have a go, he had some pride about him, right? Mitch Green was outmatched. I'd say, well, React Paul was the 3-to-1 favourite. So there's no there's no level of outmatched here, and I'm being honest. Yeah, Chris Bill and Smith won, but he he wasn't outmatching him. He wasn't levels above. So if Mitch Green can get in there with the most ferocious heavyweight puncher and rapid speed and whatever else, and have a go, and he was digging Mitch Green was digging his feet and trying to have a go, trying to find a way. These cats here, and Mitch Green no doubt got paid probably twenty grand for that. These big bulls, useless bulls. The truth is, Richard. You're only good for piping Madonna. You're only good for having the shaitan suck the energy out of you. That's what you're good for, Richard. Yeah? You are a shaitan energy vessel. She took all that world championship promise and she sucked it out of her. That's why she looking 10 years younger in the last week. Oops. Fact. Yeah? She came, she came, Richard, she came to you looking about 70 years old. Because she is. She's like 70 million years old. She's the shaitan. The female shaitan. She came to you looking 70 million years old. You piped the thing, And during that kind of... That plug-in. She sucked all the life force out of you. That's... People watch that fight. Richard came in there like... Like a zombie. Cause she sucked the life out of him. That's the God's honest truth. The shaitan. Sucked all that good energy. All that promise. All that potential. And sucked it out of it. That's... Why do you think... Richard. What do you think she wants of you? Yeah? She can find any bull. But she needs someone with potential to do something. So she can feed on the energy. That's why she wants your big ass. And yeah, naive looking ass dude. What would we done? What would Madonna possibly want with my big ass? Oops. You found out now. Because you can't do nothing now. The life force been sucked out of you. Yeah? That's, a, that's for damn sure. Sorry looking ass dude. Embarrassing. You know what? I'm, I, I can't wait to see what he got to say for himself. That's the truth. Yeah? Talking all that talk. I warned him as well. I said, Richard, don't let me see you talk to Rara. Oh, man, you don't know what's in my heart. Yeah? When Chris Bill and Smith said to him, you ducked uh, off a tyre. He was, oh, man, you know, I didn't duck anybody. I'm a businessman. And that's the truth. Yeah? You are a businessman. That fight looked like a businessman. You was calculated. Oh, I don't want to get... Same as a Coley. I don't want to get knocked out. I'm a big road man, hard man. You won't even get hit that hard. Look at look at Richard's face after the fight. There was no marks on there. You weren't even punched up. Then you got Jack Massey and Chamberlain having to go, both of them. 
They should have been the headline. They should have been paid a million each for what I saw. Jack Massey was getting punched up and then um, the corner guy, I've got his name now. Joe, 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 whatever his name is. Gallagher. Told him, listen man, you're blowing it. Do you want to be, this is it now. Yeah? When Joe Gallagher was speaking, it sent shivers down my spine. Joe told him, listen man, this is it now. Do you want this or not? And even Angel, to be fair. Angel was, he was trying. He was trying as well. He was trying, but you, you, you can bring a... Can bring a horse to water, you can't make it drink. I do wonder what these dudes do in sparring though. But I've heard Lawrence O'Coley is a demon in sparring. And of course it's harder under the lights, but this is what you have signed up to do, right? This is what you signed up to do. You signed up to get busy. And instead you're politicking. It's frustrating. Yeah? Reactport is washed up. I don't want to see him no more. These guys, these guys, he either knocking out a bum or he in there hugging. Same as Akoli. Oh, Akoli's back. Akoli's back. Akoli, he knocked, he the bum slayer. Deontay Wilde, the same thing. These kind of cats here with lots of power, they only good knocking out bums. When they fight someone who's half decent, Chris Bill and Smith ain't even like that, I don't believe. I think, then again, Upper Tire, I don't even rate Upper Tire. Upper Tire just jump on the spot. When Bradis came to fight of Upper Tire, 50 year old dude, Bradis is 50 years old. When Upper Tire came to squabble with him, what did he do? Nothing. He, he was like, looking like, oh, I don't really want to fight. So it's this new age thing. No one seems to know how to fight on the inside. It's an epidemic. Obatai can't fight on the inside. Akoli can't fight on the inside. Richie Rappaport can't fight on the inside. Unless they can pop you in the mouth with a jab and get their right hand off at range, they don't want to know. That's the truth. They don't. But then Smith ain't much better. He throws some good inside shots, but he's happy to clinch. Spend the time clinching. You never see Golovkin trying to clinch. He's worried about getting his shots off. And staying somewhat tight. Shocking. Shocking. I felt, ben, I felt somewhat bad for Ben Shalong as well. Because he was like, oh my god, this was a flop. I don't know what the presenters were watching. I don't know what them corny TV guys were watching. Oh, this was a great performance. It was the worst thing I've ever watched. I swear to god, it ruined my night. I was necked out. The referee was useless. He did nothing. They should Both of them should have been disqualified. He warned him a few times, stop hugging. Like, what? And they left it. Didn't, didn't kind of follow up. Like, what? Who wants to watch that? The fans should have been booing. Maybe I've watched a different fight, but it was whack. Yeah. So, Rekpo had a big hype job. He finished. Bill and Smith. <sighs> Bill and Smith versus Upper Tire. I'd probably back Upper Tire. Upper Tire has a bit more light on his feet. And But then again, if Bill and Smith can start stop hugging, yeah, and start fighting, like Dana White said, in today's age, you don't have to have the most skills in boxing. If you can tuck your elbows in, put your chin down, and have a go, it will take you a long way. If Bill and Smith can make that switch and take things from the Bradis fight and say, wait a minute, Akoli don't want to fight, Rakpo don't want to fight, Jair Pattaya against Bradis didn't really want to fight. If I can go in there and want to fight, like Triple G, like Canelo, no, Canelo, you know what I'm saying though, the, the, the principal, because Canelo was getting punched up by, um, what's his name? Oh, the Mexican dude, Munguia. And then he found it or whatever. He kept consistent. If you can consistently come forward and be aggressive and put your hands together, you can do something. If Bill and Smith has a political fight with Opatire, he can go either way. I'd probably back Opatire. He's quicker. And he's light on his feet. He's not too interested in tangling with the clinches. So, so yeah, anyway, whack fight. This, this dude here is an embarrassment. That's the truth. He need to pick some cotton. That's what he designed to do. Pick some cotton. Because he ain't designed to fight. That's just not my words. Angel told you that. Angel told you he's not designed to fight. He designed to clinch. He designed to pick cotton. Big old strong bull. Yeah. Willie Lynch for sure will be proud of this cat here. Oh, he a big old one. He can pick... He, he can, this, listen. If the average cat can pick like, I don't know, a kilo of cotton a day, he'd be picking 10 kilo. Designed to pick some. He ain't designed to fight. You'd think he is. Oh, he looks the business. Not even one second of any round did he really want to fight. He let his hands go a few times, but there was no consistency. There was no, like, let's break this guy down. There was no Errol Spence-ness. Errol Spence, yeah, has stiff feet, but he has a method to it. Pop, pop, wing, wing. There's none of that. There's, none of that. There's nothing that's consistent. It's like, ooh, ooh. Embarrassing, shocking, woeful. Truly woeful. The cruiserweight division seems to be the worst of all. It just seems to be full of huggers. It's like, I've never seen anything like it. It's crazy, man. And you sick? You sick people. Usyk can't be clinched. He like Lomachenko. They know what to do not to be clinched. It can be done. So all these huggers, Crispin and Smith, 
Akoli, Riakpo, Opatai, who just jumping on the spot. Yusik will punch. No wonder he want to go down there. Yusik, yeah, he can go down there, punch all these huggers up. He's slow. Riakpo and Billion Smith was gassed after two rounds. Yusik will seriously box a hole for all these cats. Probably stop him. Yusik will stop Billion Smith, I believe. Because Billion Smith, he want to hug too. And he gets tired. Riakpo stopped. Akoli stopped. Yeah. Yusik can go down there, punch all these guys up, and then come back up. And punch them up, probably. If AJ don't get his head together. And even then, I'm probably wrong, and he probably punch him up too. So, Yusik should do that. Yusik, yeah. Undisputed up. Go back down, cruise away, undisputed. Go back up. Cruise weight undisputed. Just keep or under heavyweight undisputed. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Smash the like button, subscribe, like off the bell, hundred percent. Not that about it. Stop it.